Okay, just wanted to quickly go through an experiment I did with using a MIDI controller as a helping hand when you work on in ZBrush or Blender. So the idea started with me writing a small script that you know, basically connects to the to the MIDI controller and simulates button presses, keyboard button presses and uh, mouse behavior. So now when it's running, I can first show you. So I started with money, like simulating button presses. So that allowed me for to quickly switch the brushes, easy brush. So I can go to standard brush, dumb standard brush, quickly to clay build up, activate smooth brush and things like that. That isn't that useful because you usually want to have your hand on the keyboard. Uh, but the next uh, idea that I wanted to test was to quickly export objects from ZBrush. So if I change to Bank 2, uh, I can basically go very quickly, start exporting subtools. So I can click on the body, press the first button. That's, it sometimes takes a while. Yeah. Usually because it's, I mean, I think it's because it's recording normally. It's like the button presses aren't, are very quick. Uh, so now if I select the head and press the second button, it uh, yeah it exports pretty quickly. Uh, then let's say the right hand and the left hand. Uh, so those objects are exported in a predefined hard-coded uh, directory and they have like those generic names. Uh, but if you now go to let's say Marmoset Toolbag, import all of those. Yeah, they're all gone. They are all gonna be here. And let's say I wanted to, like, I change something in the in the sub tool itself. Yeah, maybe maybe I just should make it more pronounced. And if I now just export it, I think it was yeah. That's that's the one of the issues is that you need to change check the names. So I exported it as by pressing the first button, so it's export underscore one. So if I switch back to ZBrush and just press the first button, it exports it pretty quickly. I switch to Marmoset and it gets updated. So that's like a very fast way to throw out multiple subtools from ZBrush and import them into, into Marmoset. But uh, I, I use Marmoset a lot, but I also use a lot of Blender. So the second step uh, is that I added a Blender server. Uh, so that basically means that, let me just start Blender. That basically means that Blender can do the same as Marmoset Toolbag. So it can observe a file and it not, doesn't necessarily observe the file, but it imports it uh, automatically. When, when you export it from ZBrush. So the idea is that I, I have my MIDI script running. I will activate this watchdog script and that will observe the files being exported. Uh, so let me start that. Oh, great. It doesn't work because config is not defined, isn't it importing it? Yeah, it's not for whatever reason. And now it's super slow. AI computers. Uh, so import config. Will that work? And it should work. So if now I run it, yeah. So it says, says connection refused. That's because the blender wasn't waiting for a client to connect. So I can kill it because that way it, it's going to only observe the files being written into a directory, but that gets us nothing. I will go to Blender scripting and I will just paste this script here. This this is actually the, the Blender server that will be notified and will import the exported object. So if I run it, the, the Blender will actually lock uh, because it will wait for a connection. And now if I go to Py 
charm is it pie charm i think that's the name of this id uh, and i start this then then it will connect to the server so blender should yeah it works well now it's not logged and if we go to the layout if we once again let's say export the body blender will automatically yeah now it's like i, I did alt tab into blender but it's not responding because it's importing the uh, the mesh so the watchdog basically observes files being created or modified and and sends information to the blender server hey uh, you should you should import that this new mesh yeah, the, like for example, head is more dense. I just exported head, changed to Blender, and it's, it takes a while to import, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, so the, the notifications are sent only on changing the, on modifying the the sub tools, the files. Yeah, so I can export both of those, and then I switch to Blender, and those were quick because they weren't so dense. So that like that way I can quickly export to Blender, and I know that that's basically what Go Go B, the the bridge between ZBrush and Blender does. But uh, I'm not trying to make something better by using this pretty complex setup, because it is pretty complex. Like you have to have the MIDI MIDI script if you want to use the MIDI controller. Then there is the Watchdog which observes the files, mm. and then you have to start the the Blender server. That's like a lot of work and the blender server constantly runs in the background there is this loop that basically uh, is trying to receive data uh, this those all those scripts are pretty rough like they, they are just a quick experiment so the code needs to be improved for sure uh, so the, the the server just runs in the background and checks there is no timeout on this uh, on the on the receiving part of it so it like triggers goes through it uh, as quickly like it pulls again and again which is probably not it, it no that's not necessarily true like it it would pull again and again but um, in a blender script you can use this like return this interval value uh, for a function that's registered with a timer uh, and that means that right now it's checking for something to be there uh, twice every second so but yeah so i'm not trying to make a better go go b or go z or anything like that i'm just i think there is there is a space to explore a better way to transfer data assets between um, graphics software there is a lot of different applications everyone does it differently Mm. and it's usually pretty pretty bad like it's very basic like go go z the zbrush plugin is is very basic mm. also the idea that you actually save a file into a hard drive and then you have to fetch it back into memory to import it into another program instead of just pushing the data from one program to another through just RAM memory makes the exporting and importing very slow and it's normal to use multiple software to to actually work on a on an asset so I think there is a lot of uh, explorations and experiments that can be can be done in that space uh, and I don't think this will necessarily go somewhere I'm not sure uh, but I think it sh also sh shows what can easily be done with some interesting, like with a maybe better IPC, like inter-process communication. Mm. I also feel like most of those programs should implement some version of IPC. Mm. Yeah, because it's it's a bit hacky, like exporting from ZBrush is just simulating key presses. I press a button and it pretends to be me. And press all those keyboard buttons that's that's bad like that's another good script to just simulate key presses 
yeah okay this is getting lengthy and a bit ranty like I, I don't want to um my goal is not to like criticize how it is i think it just can be way better and there is a space to to try new stuff yeah uh okay thank you i'm gonna put the link to the repository with those scripts uh, in the description so feel free to check it out play around with it yeah that's it thanks